Welcome back to Belinda's Country Living, to all my YouTube family and friends. Good morning, afternoon, and evening from wherever you are watching from. Today's video is about making barbecue spare ribs done in a crock pot. We all love barbecue ribs, but if you do it outdoors on a grill or in your oven, it's going to take a long time and you have to be here to watch them. So with everybody's busy schedule, we are going to do it in a crock pot. That way we can leave, come back, and it, it'll be ready. Remember one thing, not to overcook your ribs because they will fall off the bone. You won't be able to lift them out of the, the crock pot. So today I am using St. Louis pork spare ribs. Now this is 3.34 pounds and that's enough for me and my grandson today. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to open this. And I could have already had this done for you. My head might be chopped off, but you don't need to see me. Um, we're going to just take this off. I could have had this done, but I didn't. There we go. Doesn't look like there's going to be much of a fat to trim on that. But we'll see. Need to get some paper towels. So we're going to dab the meat. Get all that off of there. You don't have to add any liquid to your crock pot because these ribs are going to produce a lot of liquid. Just keep that net. This side looks pretty good. Now, <clears throat> there is a membrane on these ribs. Some people will leave that on. That helps the meat to hold together, but I personally don't like the membrane. Uh, so I cut it out. So let's see, sometimes these are really easy. Put your finger right underneath the membrane and sometimes you could pull it right off. I'm gonna cut that a little bit to get it started. So, see that? Well, it's just, it, this is a tough one here. I'm gonna get a paper towel and see if I can't hold on to it. There's times I can just grab a hold of this and it'll pull right off there we go see that it just is pulling right off i mean it who wants to eat that i know i don't Ugh. oh my goodness <clears throat> now there, that's a little piece right there <clears throat> now there is some meat here you might Need to trim some of that fat off. I just use kitchen shears. And yeah, I got that pretty much all off in one pool. Here's another one. I definitely need a bigger cutting board. Now I have to get back under this side. 
This is the hardest part, is this right here. Pulling this membrane off. There we go. Got it. See it? Still have a couple other little pieces. Still have a little bit of fat that I want to trim. You know, if you get this little bit of fat left on this, it doesn't matter because once that is barbecued and crunchy little fat, it's good for you. Okay, we got one more little piece to get off of there. And I did. It's all off. Well, yep. one little piece right there. Here we go. Can you see that? Okay. So we got that done. Let's disregard this fat. Go and look at that. I'm going to turn that back over. Yeah, I need to get me a little bit bigger cutting board. I got a little bit of fat right here that I would like to remove. Just get your kitchen shears and cut that right off. Here we go. But anyway, you uh, you all may have another method of getting that membrane off. But this is how I do it in my kitchen. You do it however you do it in your kitchen. This is everyday cooking, my friend. So, the next step is I'm going to set this over here. The next step is to make your seasoning. Now, I have in this little bowl here, I've got about two teaspoons of brown sugar. I'm also using one tablespoon of ground mustard. Now they do have seasoning for barbecue ribs already made up for you. It's very costly. And I'm using a tablespoon paprika. You're just gonna put all this in a bowl. I'm going to use a tablespoon of pepper. This is going to be good. Oh, it's going to be good. I can just smell it already. Just a little bit of salt to your liking. Now, I have some smoked maple grill mates. Now, I don't normally buy this. My daughter bought this, so I'm going to use it. You're going to use a tablespoon of that. Well, it smells like, ooh, smells like maple. And I'm going to use some garlic pepper. I'm going to use a tablespoon of garlic pepper. And that's all there is to it. Now you can use whatever you want for your seasoning for your spare ribs. And it smells wonderful. Mmm, yep. Smells good. And you want to mix this up 
real well. There you have it. Now what you're going to do is you are going to sprinkle this on both sides. I mean, really get that in there. Pat that down because you want that seasoning to adhere to your ribs. Rub that in there. Get that in there real good. I've got a busy day today, and I, that's why I decided to do my ribs in a crock pot so I won't have to be here to watch it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Press that down real good. See how that is? It's not falling off. Flip it over. And let's do the same to this side. These will fall off the bone. I am going to cook this on a low setting in my crock pot. Now I'm going to have to cut these ribs in half. in order for it to fit in the crock pot. Look at that, oh boy. It smells so good. Sprinkle that on there. Oh, I got some there. I'm gonna use every bit of it. And there you have it now. We are going to cut this in half so these ribs will fit in the crock pot. Cut right in between the bone. Kind of would help if I had a, a good knife. It's like sawing, man. Bring out the chainsaw. Yeah, that'll cut right in between that. Boy, I didn't realize my knife was that dull. Huh. Let's put it over. There it is. Okay, there. We got it. We got it. Yay. Now, I'm going to wash my hands. Now, I'm not sure if you could see me put these ribs in this crock pot because I haven't I have turned my crock pot down to low, a low setting, and then I'm going to spray the bottom and the sides of the crock pot. Now I know some will take their ribs and set them up on the sides in their crock pot. I can't see where it makes a real big difference. So I'm just gonna lay the rim on top of one another. And I'm going to bring you over here and show you, if I can, what it looks like in the crock pot. So I hope 
you'll be able to see this in the crock pot. It's just hard to get a, a good, there we go. Okay, that's how I got them laying in the crock pot. And I'll be the first to tell you, I'm doing these videos on my cell phone and I've got a small um, tripod. And you can only do so much with the cell phone uh, doing videos. So, we are going to cook this on low for around six hours. When they are done, don't put any liquid in your crock pot. These barbecue ribs will produce all the liquid you need. When they are done, I will get back with you. Okay, we are back and our crock pot ribs are ready to be taken out. It has been exactly five hours. So I'm going to take them out of the crock pot and do the finishing touches. And you must be very careful, they are falling apart. I'm gonna lay them on my cookie sheet and I have this lined with aluminum foil for easy cleanup. We don't want to have to do any more cleanup than we have to. Oh, they smell so good. Now, the final touches to these ribs is we are going to put barbecue sauce. We're going to spread the barbecue sauce on top. And I like to use the Sweet Baby Ray Ray's barbecue sauce. It is so good. Now, if you choose, you can make your own barbecue sauce, but for the price that you pay for this, <clears throat> you can get this at the dollar store. <clears throat> Our Dollar Tree even has it as well. So what we're going to do is we're just going to spread some barbecue sauce over the top. Just squeeze that out. Use your brush and just spread that out. Now you know at this point you could go ahead and eat these right now if you choose to they're ready to eat but I like to put mine in the top of the oven and on I like to put this under the broiler probably for about 10 minutes now you want to watch this because you don't want them to burn so we're going to flip these over. Oh, my word, if that doesn't look scrumptious, huh? Can't wait to get into this. Now we're going to do the same to the other side. Just spread this sauce all over the top of these. Oh, my goodness. And you know, if you have any leftover ribs you can just shred that off the bones and make some pork barbecue sandwiches i'm going to do the same to the other slab and what this does when you put this in the broiler it's going to caramelize 
This sauce of, oh, it's gonna be so good. Oh. Now let's flip them back over because you want their, see it's already fell off the bone. I want you to look at that. <clears throat> Oh, but oh my goodness, this is just so good. But I've been busy today. That's why I decided to put these in the crock pot. And that way when I come back, had a lot of yard work I had to do today. Did a little bit of weed eating. And I sprayed the fence row. Oh, this is finger licking good. Mm. <clears throat> Pulled some weeds out of my sister's flower bed. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to get into these. And so just stick these in the oven under your broiler setting. Keep your eye on it. Do not let them burn. It don't hurt if you charboil them just a little bit. Mm. But yeah, they were done. We pulled in the driveway after I picked up my grandson from work. He works at Taco Bell. We opened up the car door and he said, what is that smell? I said, I'm doing some ribs. He said, oh my goodness, got to be better than Taco Bell. <laughs> uh, the kid loves to eat. So we are going to pop, look at them. We are going to pop these in the oven and I'm going to keep my eye on them. I'd say that's going to be roughly around 10 minutes. So when they're done, I'll be right back. Okay, so the ribs are ready to get out of the oven. They've been in there for roughly around 10 minutes. So let's get them out of the oven and see how they turned out. Oh my goodness. And I want you to look at that. You didn't even have to stand over the grill outside. You didn't have to stay home to watch these. And they are done. And they just caramelized so wonderful. So, let's cut them and see. Oh, they're just, as you can see. Oh my goodness, they just fallen off the bone. Whoops. See. <coughs> just like that. Finger licking good. It is very hot. Ooh. I will probably burn my lips, but I'm going to try. Blow in a little bit. You got to love this barbecue sauce. Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Doesn't get any better than that. Mm. We're going to have some baked beans with this barbecue. And you know what? A dinner row. And we're good to go. Mm. Oh my. Oh well, I love barbecue ribs. I love anything barbecue. Mmm. With this, you can throw in some. Well, I'm beside myself. 
but I'm hungry. <clears throat> like I said, I've been working out there, weed eating, pet my sister's grass. I do it about every five days. Oh my goodness. Y'all gotta really try these. You want a bite? <clears throat> I wish you could just reach through my phone and get you a bite of this. And you know, with the technology <clears throat> going on in this world, it probably won't happen in my lifetime, or maybe yours. But as much as this new technology, <clears throat> it may just, somebody will be able to just say, you want a bite, and you can just reach through the phone and get you some. I don't know, that's a thought. Oh my goodness. Ooh, my nose is running. So, there you have it. It is just beautifully done. I gotta show this to you again. Oh. Hey, doesn't get any better than that. And I, I guarantee you, there won't be any left for tomorrow. Time my grandson gets into this. So... Until the next time, hey, have a wonderful evening, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and go watch my other videos.